Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right, hi, this is Attican, and welcome back to part two of our perfect cattle drive. We've got our first three tasks done nicely. Our big one we have to get now is to get these 400,000 people connected prior to June of 1851. <laughs> Cutting a little tight, aren't we? So, how are we going to do that? Well, it's actually quite easy. We've got a good money-making machine going right now. So what we're going to do is go out here and grab cities that we haven't connected to and run lines. Ah. into our network. Okay, there's another city connected. Then we're going to look for the closest thing we can get. Cheyenne would be a good one. And I think, let's see, we're going to go down to, oh, it doesn't matter for this. All right, we're going to turn this a little bit so we can get down to uh, Denver as well. And we'll go over here to North Platte. And for now, we're just going to plug it in. Get rid of all bridges and uh, tunnels as much as possible to keep it cheap. after this let's see where's a good a cheap one we can pick up well let's oh we've got we haven't connected Bismarck huh. I was thinking we had but we have not so we'll run Bismarck into our line here that'll be easy to do Fargo. How are we looking? 289, okay. Then we'll go down to, ooh, let's see. got all those we got all those we can go down here to Denver Could go down to an atone.
and over to Santa Fe. And let's just bring it out here. <laughs> Make it short as possible. Should have been doing this all along. Moving those stations out as close as I can to the target. Save a few dollars. Okay, how are we looking? 347. Okay, we need a little money. Okay, so let's just let our little uh, money-making machine grow for us here a little bit. We need to be able to connect um, Omaha. to Wichita, which is down here. That bonus for new industry would be tempting, but no, 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 not right now. Okay, and then we can go down here and pick up Oklahoma City. And how are we looking? 379. <laughs> Are we missing anybody? All right, we've connected. Oh, we got two we've missed. Right here, right in here. Dodge City, that should do it for us. Dodge City and Amarillo. We definitely want Amarillo. Because um, we've got this cattle right here. So let's get Dodge City somehow. Okay, we can get the Rensselaer and slow down. We can make all of our um, passenger mail lines. Whoops. Now they can have faster trains. So we'll actually make more money with a cheaper train. Good deal. We'll put a station in Dodge City. Three ninety three. Stop 
All right, <laughs> we gotta connect them all, it looks like. Uh, where's Amarillo? Here we go. What's the closest connection? And we'll go up here. All right, as soon as we get 115, we'll connect and we'll be done. It's May, we need to be finished by June. Bingo, got it. There we go, good deal. We connected them all within our time limit. Now, now, <clears throat> what we could do if we wanted is go ahead and start setting up passenger mail lines and get that going. But if, you look, if we look at our tasks, we've got to connect those other cattle businesses, we've got to start producing cattle, sending a lot of meat down there, and then we've got to get our meat production up really high. So we need money right now. We need, need money uh, immediately to do some things. And hmm, plus, we would have to build extra stations in here to really make this work because they're going to be over, on overload. So what we're going to do is get out our bulldozer and say goodbye to these cities where we just set up a a um, single line except well yeah yeah we're gonna do it all the way now we have lines running there we'll leave those but we'll get rid of this one down here to Grand Junction These are all making us money. Uh, these are not. They could be, but they're not. And this one here, we're going to keep this line because you can see right here, here's cattle. Here's Wichita, meet into Omaha. <laughs> all right, so what do we need? We need uh, to, to connect all four city, all cattle. We'll, so what we're gonna do here, first of all, is buy this cattle. Then we're going to buy this furniture industry in Wichita. Then we're going to knock it down and put in a meat industry, of course. Uh, over here we'll do. Then we're going to finish off our line to take goods. Up to Omaha. And, hmm, now we can just run a dedicated, we could, could just run an automated line between, similar, similar to what we've done out of Sioux Falls, we can just run a, uh, look at this, Beatrix is being nasty, uh, we can run an automated line between Wichita and uh, Omaha. And that will start carrying our meat for us. So let's do that. Notice I haven't deleted this one down here. Well, I'm going to delete the line. I don't like the line itself. The station, yeah, we'll delete the station too for now. We can come back and build it later. I, have, I do have plans for Oklahoma 
city as well. So let's set up an automated line between Wichita and Omaha. We'll run the, no, 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 excuse me. We're not on the Dragon yet. We'll run the Philadelphia on that line. And we'll run a bunch of trains on this one. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we've got plenty of trains going there. Now we're going to get our cattle running into Wichita. keep doing that we're not quite there yet we'll keep running the Philadelphia and we're going to run the uh, refrigerator car because it's a direct into the city line it'll make more money okay get that going and then we're going to oh let us see here I think keep ignoring that bonus, don't I? But I'm going to keep on ignoring it for the time being. I think the thing we want to do now is figure out how to get Amarillo to go into Omaha. And what we can do here is put a small warehouse rather than mess with uh, trying to get over here and cross lines and redo this line and all that stuff. We can put a small warehouse right here outside of Omaha we can tell that warehouse to accept max meat and then run a line all the way to Amarillo And right this minute, I don't care about this line. Let's get rid of this line right here. It's not helping us. And actually this and this. We may come back to those definitely, but right now they're not helping us. And let's take that money and apply it where, where it will help us. So we can run our line between Amarillo and... this warehouse
put our junction up here. Then what we can do here is set up a line. Oh, well, first thing we can do is buy this meat industry. 274. How are we looking? Okay. Let's close out a bond before we do anything else. Or, yeah, open up a bigger bond. How are we looking? This last one down here is our last one to do. We've got plenty of time to do it. We're starting to produce cattle a little bit, but we're going to turn that up here, here momentarily. So let's close out this one of these bonds and open up a bigger bond. Okay, 950,000. Okay, now we've got something to work with. So what we want to do, well, first of all, we want to replace our train. So all of the express trains will get Rensselaer's. And all the freight trains will get Philadelphia's. And stop. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. So we want to buy this meat industry. We definitely want museum trains. I wish I'd had that before that last replacement. This is a really good one to get when you're using this technique of replacing your trains often because it reduces how much it costs you, obviously. So let's buy this meat industry. Okay, and let's bump it up one right away. Because we can. And let's buy this cattle industry right here. Probably should have bought it first. Alright, and then we will set up a line. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid meat industry. All right. Uh, ah, she's a warehouse. Okay, that gives us all four of our uh, cattle industries hooked up. What have I done here? Oh, oh, oh. When I change this configuration, this signal down here is too far down now. There we go. couple of trains for now. Now we need to get a line going from here to this warehouse. We can run full. And this one will go into the warehouse in track one. And I'm going to alternate and we're going to set up another one 
take advantage of this that's going to go from here to here it's going to run full and it's going to go in track two that way we'll be alternating them at the other end and now it's time to change our train uh, all of our passengers oh, whoops express will be rensselaers and freight will be Philadelphia's okay all right uh, where was I one two do I have any trains on this oh <laughs> Slow down. What did I goof up here? This one's going into two. I must have messed up the one going into one somehow. Run full. No, it's out there somewhere. What, what in the world? shouldn't have to do this but I'm going to set up one more line running into track two just because I've messed this up I don't know how I did it now they're even so I should be able to copy the first two and get get what I want all right so we've got uh, cattle we've got profitable cattle business here feeding Omaha Got one here feeding Omaha, and where are we? We've almost produced our 100 loads of cattle. That was easy enough. We're delivering them. All right, this produced meat is the one we're going to have to really get, keep uh, bumping these up. And there's two ways we can do this. We can either keep expanding our the ones we have, or we can start uh, going up on the others. And what I'm going to do here, actually, that's a level three, and we're going to buy this. It's very expensive, but it's going to drive up our company value. We'll use it to leverage when we buy out Beatrix, which will not be much of a problem. So now we've got this um, line running here, and we obviously don't have enough trains on this line. Okay, so we can go out rather than up to some extent. So for example, right here, we can buy this meat industry in Dodge City. And what else can we do? Make our trains even cheaper. <laughs> now they'll practically be free. All right, so we can run a line either from this one or from this one into Dodge City, supply it with uh, cattle, and then run it. We can actually piggyback it into this same one, or we can run this, piggyback this line and give it its own warehouse to deliver into. I think, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's not that busy. Is it? How busy is this guy? Four, oh, no, not at all. All right, so we'll run uh, Dodge City into that same warehouse. So what we're going to do here is put in a station. And go get... Um,
cattle. Let's see. Oh, can we get it on this? Oh, good. We can get it on this side of her tracks. Perfect. And we can run that down to Dodge City. Then we can run a line out of Dodge City. To start delivering the cattle to Omaha. if I can do this one without totally messing it up. So we want you to run full into there. We want you to go into track one. And then we want to run, set up another line. Run full into track two. And then we can duplicate those. One, two, Okay, how are we looking? Oh, we got up to fit. Well, we've almost got our uh, 20 already by doing this. Uh, let's see here. There's a connection bonus for Bismarck, but. I'm not sure I care that much. Let's keep keep working on getting this the meat production up as high as we can. So, uh, oh good, here we go. <laughs> That'll help. We can bump up um, Wichita. They need 7.2. Our cattle needs to bump up, and it needs to bump up again. We want the cattle to be producing at least as much. Ideally, exactly what the meat needs, if if not a little more. We want to make sure we're getting cattle over here to the meat. And let's see here. Let's uh, check this out over here too. We need 7.2 here, so we need to bump this one up. A couple. We need another million dollars to bump this one up again. Well, there's a million dollars. Up we go. Okay, so this one should be good for now. Now here we need 3.6. And we're also feeding North Platte from that same uh, cattle. We need 3.6 here. Oh, we can bump it up. Okay, 7.2 and 3.6. Uh, we need 10.8 coming out of this cattle ranch right here. 
Oh, good. He's already a level four. Although we're competing with a little bit that's going to Denver, but not a big problem. Oh, we got the 19.16 there. <laughs> we're almost there. It kind of goes in cycles each, each time it, uh, it starts loading up. But uh, if we get that cycle up to 20, we only have to hit it once. We don't have to maintain 20. We just have to hit 20. So he's getting a good supply. Is he getting it all shipped out? Uh, yes, he's shipping it out nicely. Even though we've only got two trains running on this. All right, what have we done here? Ah, oh, we got our 20, good. That's actually the hardest one. Now the, the meat will be our finish line, shipping the meat. We've got until 58, we got until 1854 to get it done. We'll keep working on getting that up, but let's, let's say goodbye to Beatrix. That's always a pleasant thing. She's gonna cost us seven, about eight million by when it's all said and done. And yes, I know, I've been ignoring my employees. Shame on me. Uh, let's find a good line to put them on. Look at the money we're making on this thing. need to get out here to this Rogers uh, American Fryer Express as well. Not that we need the money, but it wouldn't hurt us. Okay, so we're looking good here, folks. We're looking good. Ah, we might as well take this bonus. Let's run a line into um, Pierre. And we could run it, f we could run it flat, but I think I'd rather. Rather have the bridge not interfere with our cattle. All right, let's see here. That's not bad. Five and seven. Da, da, da. Click. Get a nice bonus for that. Kind of get it paid for in advance. Whoops.
Okay, so got that bonus and got another profitable line. We could steal this bonus. How much is this one worth? 400? Yeah, we'll take that. We're going to steal this one. Not going to use it, though. I'm sure we could find a city somewhere that could use some milk. Maybe, well, maybe we could, but we don't really care. We'll take that bonus. Okay. All right, let's get rid of Beatrix and then we'll continue to pump up the meat production. Uh, Beatrix, Beatrix. 7.7 million. Let's let's go on up to the to the um, yeah we'll take the extra freight revenue but let's go on up to the um, the dragon for our freight. Okay, so now we're running dragons and rensselaers, which should make us run even faster. Okay, we can raise 1.73, about three and a half million through uh, bonds. And we're gonna need probably eight. So we'll wait till we, let's just accumulate about $5 million. Shouldn't take long. Wichita grows. Does that mean we can bump? Yes, it does. We'll bump this one up again. So we need 14.4. Okay, we're going to need one and a half million to bump this up again. There we go. Okay. Now we've got the Rogers American. That's going to become our passenger train. And the Dragon is our freight train. Now we're looking good. Two, four, all right, let's accumulate four million, and this time I mean it, <laughs> and we'll buy out Beatrix. Although, she's, uh, do we have any more expansion possibility? Meat industry, yes. Okay. We've got this one up that needs 
And our cattle industry over here needs to go up one more. All right, we need 1.5 million. So you got to match your supply and demand here. So we got to be able to supply enough out of this cattle ranch at a rate weekly rate that is at least as high, ideally, like I said, exactly as high as what we need here. We need 14.4 a week. So we need to be producing at least 14.4 out of our um, cattle ranch. And we're, we're there now, and let's see if we're running enough trains. Not really. Hard to run enough trains. What we may need to do here is actually set up well, our throughput's fine. Let's see, how busy is this? No, it's getting full. Alright, so we can either add another um, yeah, let's do that. Let's just add another platform and run out here like this. Set up another runway for it. So that'll be track three. All right, let's slow down a little bit. All right, so now we're going to run another set of trains, and I think the easiest way is just actually to put another station here. And have it go down here a ways and hook into our system. Run full from here and go into track three. Now we should be able to keep up with with that. And have we overloaded? See, our track here in the middle is still not even totally used. And now we've got 4% on this and 16% here. So we're good. We're good. And how are we looking? All right, we're almost there on that. And let's, again, <laughs> I keep saying this, we're going to go buy Beatrix. I swear we are. Okay, we need to fix this. We need to... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put in a warehouse with signaling control.
Now we should be much better. Beatrix is up to 10. She is growing. A promoter in. See if we can't get Wichita to grow a little bit more. If we can. If we can get it up to 60, which we can, we can boom this one up one more time. <laughs> Let's buy what we can of Beatrix. Nine million. Oh, we can, I think we've almost got her. Yeah, we'll just wait and buy her in one, one big, uh, Gulp. liquidate everything all right so Beatrix is gone we're at 773 and we've got slow down okay now we should have new trains running and we should be able to bump up this one one more time. Yes, we can. We can expand that meat industry. It needs 25.2. And what are we getting out of here? 24. That's as well as we can do. All right. So now we should be kicking uh, butt over here in Wichita. How are we doing down here? Oh, we got a lot to export, so we need more trains from Amarillo. And how are we looking in Dodge City? Looking good in Dodge City. And North Platte. We need more trains going to North Platte. And I think we can kind of relax here now. Let's just see if we could do it. Let's see. Me, ah, we can expand this one. Why not? Uh, 16 point. We need 16.8 coming out of here now. Uh, that's what we're doing. So good deal. And I still don't have enough trains. What we could do is actually add a warehouse and run yet another line coming out through here. Look at this. We've got like a steady flow of uh, cattle going into Sioux Falls. 
let's do that. Let's put in a, yeah, I mean, we could even put a big warehouse at this point, but that's overkill. Warehouse with signaling control. Just run a dedicated line all the way. Out here. We could have organized this differently, maybe with an intermediate warehouse or something. If you got a good idea, if you notice something we could have done, uh, bring it up. Put it in a comment. Not that I'm even remotely unhappy with what's going on here, but just the same. Nothing wrong with getting better. Uh, let's see here. Now we've got, well, we'll put in signals. We have a dedicated line to a warehouse, which needs to accept meat. <laughs> getting these things out of the city. Yeah, we are. We're doing a good job exporting them. And let's just run moguls for all of our freight. Okay, so now we've got moguls. Rogers moguls on our freight and Rogers American on our express lines. Now we're good to go. And we'll just let this run. Oh, it's almost done. <laughs> okay, let's just let it run till the end. You can see we're green, we're gold all the way, and we have to have this one done by 1854, so we're about a year ahead on it. So we're looking good. Next train that comes in, there we go. So let's see how we did. Now we got president, 10 out of 10, 20 out of 20, perfect score. Took us three years and one month. So pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, yeah, pretty good. So I enjoyed that. Uh, it was fun to get a perfect score on this one because I remember when I first started playing, I really thought this one was hard, especially that. 440,000, or sorry, 400,000 people in a year and a half. That I even made a comment the first video I did on this drive, on the cattle drive was to say I thought that was a red herring that you couldn't even do it. And now we can do it in half that time. So, uh, and we should note that the game certainly is easier now because the characters are so much stronger and the warehouses are better and all that good stuff. But still, I'm uh, happy to be able to do it this well. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.